Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. In this series, we are going to be focusing on a practice that's less modern, much more traditional. We'll be learning prostrations. Prostrations can be found in many spiritual traditions. It is a practice where we lower or submit or relinquish the individual ego for a higher spiritual power or presence. The one that we'll be learning in this practice comes from the Yang Drung Bun tradition. And it's a branch of Tibetan Buddhism that's much older than the other branches. It's said to be 18,000 years old. So many generations of practitioners have been doing these prostrations. It's a great practice in and of itself. We will be learning the traditional practice and then how to incorporate the intention of prostrations in a yoga practice through sun salutations. This practice, you can think of it being in three parts. The very first thing that we do is we want to visualize the merit field or the Buddha field. So this is a umbrella or a very large tree that extends into the sky and it's made up of enlightened beings. And these are beings who have done spiritual work on this planet and they exist to continue helping us on our spiritual journey. This is our higher spiritual power or presence. It includes enlightened beings, it includes spiritual warriors who are protecting the teachings and protecting the practices. It consists of the teachings themselves. And we also include the one physical teacher who is considered our root teacher, who is able to channel and bring all of these practices and teachings to us. So all of those beings are in this merit field. Step one is offering. So we are taking all the things that consist of who we are and we offer those up to the merit field. So when we make offerings, we might think of the things that we have been successful in, in our lives. We can think of the things that bring joy to us, our friends, our work, but we can also look at negative things as well because we can also have attachments and identify with our neuroses. We can think of things like illnesses, disease. We can look at if we're not happy with the way things are in our lives or if we're not happy with the way things are in the world, whether it's environmental or political or otherwise. So there's all kinds of things that consist of who we are. And we can say that we're, we uh, usually are attached to these things, whether we know it or not. So we're number one, offering all of these things to this merit field. That's the first step. Second step is receiving. So when we offer, we're creating space in ourselves. We have space now to receive blessings from the Buddha field. And these blessings are helping us to recognize our Buddha nature. In some traditions, you do spiritual work and then you become your spiritual self, like your spiritual self emerges or you, you create it. In other traditions, we're already whole, we're already perfect, we're already Buddhas. And it's simply that there's a veil or layers of dust that cover our awareness of our Buddha nature. So we're really just removing the veil or clearing away the dust. So receiving the blessings helps us to recognize and reconnect with our Buddha nature. So that's the second part, receiving. The third part is the part where we're getting down on our hands and knees 
And that is a symbolic posture to close the doors of the five negative emotions, or they are often called the five poisons. So those negative emotions are anger, neediness, greediness, ignorance, jealousy, you could probably include envy there, and ego pride. And what, what we're looking at is not suppressing these negative emotions, but bringing more awareness to when those flare up. So we can have those experiences of those emotions, but by saying we're closing the door, we are really becoming more increasingly aware of when those emotions come up so that we can change something and not get lost in that negative emotion. So we don't lose our sense of self and our ability to be present. So that's the third part, bringing increased awareness to our negative emotions and our ability to manage them skillfully. Now we will do the physical practice. Let's stand up. I'll be doing some of this facing the camera and some of this sideways just so you can see the posture better. When we stand, the heels are together, the toes are apart. And this is symbolic in closing off the past and opening to the future. When we do prostrations and also when we do sun salutations, traditionally you're facing east and your back is facing west. So we're facing the rising sun and this is all the limitless possibilities. And then the setting sun is reflecting on our day. So in a way it's looking at what has passed. So standing in this way and facing east helps us to not feel trapped by our patterns, our past patterns, and it opens the doors to new possibilities in the future. But when we're doing the practice, we are firmly in the present moment. Okay, so from this stance, we visualize the merit field and there are lots of images of this that you could find if it helps for you to see this merit field. And we make our offering. Think about what is near and dear to us. What are we attached to? We can start off thinking of the positive things, the successes in our lives, the people that we love our accomplishments. And you can offer those up by sweeping the arms up and feel that you are letting them go up to the merit field. And these beings are very grateful to receive this energy, this offering. So in return, they offer their blessings. So we bring our hands together and we receive their blessings by bringing the hands to the forehead and this is receiving enlightened body, the qualities of an enlightened body. Then we bring our hands to the throat. This is receiving the qualities of enlightened speech. And then to the heart, the qualities of enlightened mind. And I say receive, but it, it's acknowledging that those exist in us. The mind naturally is doubting so by dropping the arms and sweeping them out to the sides, we clear any doubt. And here's where I'm just turning sideways so you can see a little better. We come down onto our knees, our hands, and our forehead. And you can lift the feet off of the floor. These five points represent the five poisons. So we're closing those doors and then coming up and feeling the effects of doing that prostration. And we'll do it two more times. So we do it a total of three times. Later on when you're practicing this, you can do it a lot quicker. So once again, we're acknowledging the merit field or Buddha field above, connecting with it. And now let's try offering the things that we think of as negative attachments. 
So it could be our neuroses, it could be disease or illness, it can be things that we're not happy about in ourselves or in the world. If we have a grudge with someone, something we haven't forgiven, that's a burden to us. So we can offer up all of those things, sweeping the arms up. And again, the enlightened beings, they don't see anything as good or bad. It's just pure energy. The fact that we're doing these prostrations, they're so happy and grateful to receive this offering. And they, in return, send blessings and we receive Buddha body, Buddha speech, Buddha mind, recognizing our Buddha nature, clearing doubt, and closing the doors to the five poisons. Again, you can lift your feet off the floor and come back up. And the third one, make your offering. So whatever else remains, offer it up. And in this newly created space, we receive, experience our Buddha body, speech, and mind. Again, clearing doubt. And hands, knees, hands, and forehead on the floor. Closing the doors to the five poisonous emotions. And on that very last one, you can finish once again, reconnecting with Buddha body, speech, and mind, resting or abiding in our Buddha nature. And that completes our practice of prostrations. <laughs>